And the third and final way to insert an image is with a URL, which means this is where you get the GIFs, because GIFs are really just moving images. So this is a link to find the GIF. Now, you could find GIFs off Google and find the link for it, but I personally think we all need a Giphy account, giphy.com. It's the best way to find links and moving images. And then I've decided this is the perfect one. This is Boy Meets World, Sean Hunter. He can't stay here anymore. He has to escape. I think that's perfectly our lives. So we would go to copy link. Now I could do short link. I just do GIF link, the whole thing. And I've copied it. And then I go back to the slide, insert. Yep, this is what it'll look like. Hit insert. And now I have an image that actually moves. So when students are looking at this slide, it's going to actually move and not just be stagnant. The only issue, though, is that you have to have it in presentation mode and internet. If, let's say, you download this slide and they're just looking at it as like a traditional presentation, they didn't actually open it through Google Slides, then this is going to be a freeze frame. If it's not opened through Google Slides, the image won't move. So just keep that in mind.